hey guys, welcome back. Stone Wolf 277 with you. And I thought we uh, dig out and let's try Strange. Uh, life is strange. Because life is strange sometimes. I don't know. Life loves to make things interesting for us. But anyway, dug us out of my Steam library and thought we'd give it a let's try because honestly, I have never played it. I've seen let's plays of it. Uh, streams and everything, but never actually uh, give it a try myself. So we're gonna do that with all of you guys. So, all right, uh, start a new game. All right, Help options, settings, audio settings. We're going to lower. Uh, I'm gonna try that because the YouTube content ID match thing going on there. We're gonna leave that. I got video settings, screen size, we maxed it out, even though it's black bars on the side. I'm running a 2560 by 1080 LG widescreen, so we'll, we'll work with it. Advanced audio, I wonder if I can do anything. Yeah, I can, actually. Okay, so it's already fixed with that detailed. I'm going to test out our RX 580 8 gig card and do high settings. I'm going to see how that goes. You guys have any thoughts on that? Let me know in the comment area below, but we should be good. To apply that, confirm. Uh, back. This tells yes. Yeah, default language. This is gonna be an interesting game. Got that feeling. Right, some Square Enix. Downloadable content, we will check out later. Okay. New game. Uh, the old Polaroid. Life is Strange is a story based game that features player choice. The consequences of all your game actions and decisions will impact the past, present, and future. Choose wisely. Okay, this almost reminds me of the uh, Telltale. Games that cause effect. effect. Big F5, F6 twister, oh. So surreal. Famously called film little pieces of, surreal. Time, of time. But he could be talking about photography, as he likely was. Okay. I'm in class. Everything's cool. I am okay. From light to shadow. From color to chiaroscuro. Now, can you give me an example of a photographer who perfectly captured the human condition in black and white? I didn't fall asleep, and that Anybody? sure didn't feel like a dream. Bueller. Weird. Diane Arbus. There you go, Victoria. 
Why Arvis? Because of her images of hopeless faces. You feel like totally haunted by the eyes of those sad mothers and children. She saw humanity as tortured, right? And frankly, it's bullshit. Shh, 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 shh. Keep that to yourself. Seriously, though, on, I could frame any one of you in a dark corner and capture you in a moment of desperation. And any one of you could do that to me. Isn't that too easy? Too obvious? I love Mouth what if bag. Arbus chose to capture people at the height of their beauty or innocence? She had a brilliant eye. So she could have taken another approach. I have to. Look at this crap. How can I show this to Mr. Jefferson? I can hear the class laughing at me now. I'm not a big fan of her work. I prefer Robert Frank. I have to admit, I'm not a big fan of her work. I prefer Robert Frank. <laughs> me too, Victoria. He captured the essence of post-war beat America. If anybody else looked at this, what would they think? Hmm. Tupper first. October, my favorite month, best weather of the year. I love watching the leaves change color, turning into tiny flames. But it's still too damn hot. Yeah, I know. Thanks to global warming. I can almost feel the same way sometimes in Texas. But, uh, anyway, and I can't bust out the big coats and sweaters for scary movies yet. Soon. Kate will let me borrow the October Country by Ray Bradbury. I haven't read much of him, which caused which caused Warren to almost revoke my geek cre cred before I held up my copy of Battle Royale. But he nails the autumn atmosphere of small towns. Last time I wore a Halloween costume was with Chloe. I have pictures in one of my old albums. I should uh, find a real Halloween party to crash so I can experience some s social mingling. Or it's a, or it's that, or a vortex, vortex club stroke fest, swing party. Or is it that back stroke fest? You're so punny, Max. At least I'm trying to climb out of my cocoon. I shouldn't expect my life to be completely changed after a few weeks of Blackwell Academy. Hmm. As my parents lovingly. Love telling me on a loop, you'll have all the time in the world. Yes. Uh, July 10th, I got accepting to Blackwell Academy. I'll let you guys read some of that. I actually got the Angel Supporters Scholarship. New clothes, huh? A new laptop. Definitely new laptop. Going to Blackwell Academy, yay! August 18, this is it. I'm leaving Seattle to go back to Arcadia Bay. Usually people go to high school close to home, I suppose. I am too. I just haven't lived there for five years. Of all the best photography programs in the world, I c could choose to go to the smallest. Go to the smallest. Back in a town, I was excited about leaving. Oh. So she was in Seattle, and then now she's going back to Arcadia. Go to uh, Blackwell Academy. Uh, text messages as well, so okay. Maybe I wanted to come back after all to see if Chloe and I were still friends, but I do wish Chloe could have moved with, Seattle, uh, moved with us to Seattle. See what's made for her. Seattle wasn't like a fable. Oh, contraire. Now Blackwell, Blackwell Academy seems more exotic to me than uh, than any other place in the world. To study photography under Mark Jefferson. Sigh. 
Mark Jefferson. Insert hearts of fla and flowers. Plus there will all, plus there will be there will be cool diverse students from everywhere. Uh, be definitely be a different high school, Chloe. Not Chloe. And they found the groove with a classmate or oh, boys. Oh dear, yes. So maybe Arcadia Bay will not will actually turn out to be an island of treasure and adventure. Already clearing our room. It's like, don't worry, mom, I'll be fine. Blackwell sucks ass? Really? I thought you were all excited. Which thought I was entitled. <sighs> and the homework, too. Well, it's Blackwell Academy. We expect. Uh, ew, Warren Graham character. Serious Geek plus he's dark and witty. Hmm. Well, we'll have to keep our eye on Mr. Warren. Definitely. Homework is still kicking, yeah. And there was honesty about the economic conditions of the air, but a beauty in the struggle. Y you don't have beauty without a beat, which explains why Frank was Kerouac's photographic muse. And both were the great chroniclers. I can't believe I still have this pencil world. case. I should upgrade to the 21st century, iconic shot of but Kerouac. I like it old school. And if you haven't, shame, shame. Capturing the romantic urban solitude of the 20th century poet, you dig? Good. I do love my analog camera. I should take a picture to prove I'm still here. Plus, it's perfect for my portfolio. And I have to get my daily selfie quota. Portraits are famous. My little camera bag is battered, but still kicking. Pesky kids love so much. Pretty good bag, too. The selfie. And it's a great tradition, and I wholeheartedly fight for your right to self expression. Or selfie expression. <laughs> Sorry. I know. So if anybody wants to question the portrait as modern enough- Look at this crap. How can I show this to Mr. Jefferson? I can hear the class laughing at me now. He wants to question the portrait as modern narcissism? They could go back. Narcissism? They could go back hundreds of years to blame society. Speaking of questions, I bet you thought I'd talk all the way until the bell rang. Aim at the camera. It's your turn to lecture us. Now, based on the chapters, I have no doubt you all memorized. Who can tell me the name of the actual process that led to the birth yes, take of a the self-portrait? I believe Max has taken what you kids call a selfie. A dumb word for a wonderful photographic tradition. And Max has a gift. Of course, as you all know, the photo portrait has been popular since the early 1800s. Your generation was not the first to use images for selfie expression. Sorry, I couldn't resist. The point remains that the portraiture has always been a vital aspect of art and photography for as long as it's been around. Now, Max, since you've captured our interest and clearly want to join the conversation, can you please tell us the name of the process that gave birth to the first self-portraits? You're asking me? You're asking me? L let me think. Um. You either know this or not, Max. Is there anybody here who knows their stuff? Louis Daguerre was a French painter who created daguerreotypes. 
A process that gave portraits a sharp reflective style like a mirror. Now you're totally stuck in the retro zone. Sad face. Very good, Victoria. The Daguerrean process brought out fine detail in people's faces, making them extremely popular from the 1800s onward. The first American daguerreotype self-portrait was done I by I can't Robert believe I still Williams. have this pencil case. Yeah, I should upgrade to the 21st century. And yeah. But I like it old school. Look at a photo we took. Oh no. Class is up. Yes. Hey guys, don't forget the deadline Stay to by submit the a photo in the Everyday Heroes contest. I'll fly out with the winner to San Francisco where you'll be feted by the art world. It's great exposure and it can kickstart a career in photography. So Stella and Alyssa, get it together. Taylor, don't hide. I'm still waiting for your entry too. And yes, Max, I see you pretending not to see me. Yes, we are. Another day at school. Or another day at Blackwall, I should say. Uh, hmm. Victoria doesn't waste a second kissing ass. Uh, look. Even her school books are gift wrapped. Uh, Victoria, I can't yeah. believe she made fun of me in class. What is she, 15 years old? Yeah, maybe. And people laughed. I'll take a look at this first. Of course, Victoria has to have the bestest, newest, most expensive everything. I wonder if we use it. Is she looking? I don't think she's looking. I should have known. She'll have better equipment than Blackwell. Wow, three hundred bucks. GRL T sixty four, with all the speed and the power power expected from a new greenlit the GRL T sixty four is packed with the expanded features and. Manageability and all the lovely issues anything you want. Turn the camera, JPEG images, so the top of the line hardcore. Mm hmm. Right, that's Victoria. This is just a compliment to I don't want anybody to feel excluded from this process, but I also hey, want Kate. everybody to know that this photographic world is not for everybody. I had my moment in the camera, I and Oh, totally. Kate looks so sad and quiet today. Poor thing. Uh, let's talk to her, see if we can cheer her up. Hi, Kate. Oh. Hi, Max. Uh, you seem a little quiet today. You seem quiet today. Just thinking too much. Hmm. Uh, I'm gonna grab a cup of tea. A cup of tea may help calm the nerves. I hear that. Wanna go grab a cup of tea and bitch about life? Thanks, but not today. I have to go over homework. No worries. Let's hang later. Sure. Oh, there we go. Uh, uh. Now I wish I wouldn't okay. have read this. We love your Purge. porn video. Black Woke. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Edge marks? Hmm. Take a look at that. Huh. This might make a cool shot. Well, let's uh, take a picture of it. Capture it. Uh, I'm all, now I'm almost tempted to go get grab a Polaroid. Oh, achievement! Micro eyes. Or macro eyes. Uh, let's check a look. Oh, hello. Uh, what's, what's Obviously, Blackwell spent bank on the computers here. Oh yeah, looks like a good photography program. Let's use it. Looks like somebody was already working on this. Cool. Hmm. Didn't say who, but they have talent. Right. Take a look. Damn, they have carbon fiber tripods here. The ball head even has a pan lock. God, I'm such a photo nerd. Yes, you are, but don't be ashamed of it. Don't be ashamed of it, Max, whatsoever. Embrace your photo nerd. Let's take a look at these. This is definitely where cameras go to heaven. Oh mm. man, they have those sweet ultrasonic lenses. And look at that vintage rangefinder. What? Yeah, no, yes, it's on like on the. Oh. Black Friday list or something, oh, birthday list. So cool that we can check these out anytime. The Decisive Moment by Henri Cartier-Bresson. 
That's rare. Annie Leibovitz, mad respect. The amazing Eugene Smith. Good to see Avedon among the masters. Golly, of course. Lots of people I haven't heard of yet. I guess that's why I'm here. Mm -hmm. Read amongst the greats. Alright, what else? Holy Kate. Yeah, I feel, she'll feel better. Oh my god. Oh. Here's the poster for the contest. Mr. Jefferson really expects me to enter. Why? I don't know, maybe he's I don't know if I'm ready for my 15 minutes of infamy. You never know. Deadline October 9th, 2013. That was like, what, five years ago? Wow. Time does fly. Everyday Heroes Photo Contest. Submit an image that best represents yourself for others in a heroic action. Anything else? No. Man, he even has the best plasma HDTV for a class monitor. Can't oh, yeah. wait to watch some more documentaries on this bad boy. Oh, definitely. Get all that color pop and pi picture fun. Even in pictures, the forest around here always looks mysterious. It's holding secrets. Unknown secrets. There's the uh, tower. You can never escape the lighthouse, lighthouse here. Always watching us. Kind of feels like a spooky X Files. Ooh, camera. Whoa, Mr. Jefferson is not messing around with that monster. He probably paid 20 grand for that camera. I bet he gets pristine digital images. But I still dig my little instant camera. Yep, small and easy to pop out. Every time I look at Victoria, I feel like she's talking smack about me. Hmm, high school. Mr. Jefferson. This is ridiculous. I always get so shy and nervous around Mr. Jefferson. Uh, let's talk to him. Excuse me, Mr. Jefferson, can I talk to you for a moment? Yes, excuse you. No, Victoria, excuse us. I'd never let one of photography's future stars avoid handing in her picture. Uh, we do. Uh, do we have to? Didn't have any time. Uh, can't get. Can't get out of it. Okay, shoot. Uh, reload for the last checkpoint. I don't think we have any time. Let's reload, yes. Whoa! That was so surreal. Famously called film, Little Pieces of Time. But he could be talking about photography, as he likely was. Okay, His I'm in class. Everything's cool. Now, so I'm okay. From yes, light totally okay. to shadow. From color to chiaroscuro. Now, can you give me an example of a photographer who perfectly captured the human condition in black and white? I didn't fall asleep, and that Anybody? sure didn't feel like a dream. Bueller? Weird. Diane Arbus. There you go, Victoria. Why Arbus? Look at this crap. How can I show this to Mr. Jefferson? I can hear the class laughing at me now. Because of her images of hopeless faces. You feel like totally haunted by the eyes of those sad mothers and children. She saw I haven't kept up with my journal as much as I should. And frankly, it's bullshit. Shh, 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 shh. Keep that to yourself. My little camera bag is Seriously, battered, but still kicking. I can frame any one of you yep. in a dark corner. Still kicking. And capture you in a moment bag. of desperation. And any one of you could I do can't that believe I still have this pencil case. I should upgrade to the 21st century. But Eventually. I like it old school. What if Arbus chose to capture people at the height? I do beauty. love my analog camera. She had a I should take a quick picture now. So she yeah, could have taken another picture. approach. I have to admit, I'm not a big fan of her work. I prefer... Shh, shh, shh. I believe Max has taken what you kids call a selfie. A dumb word for a wonderful photographic tradition. And Max has a gift. Of course, as you all know, the photo portrait has been popular since the early 1800s. 
your generation was not the first to use images for selfie expression. Sorry, I couldn't resist. The point remains that the portraiture yeah, has always been a vital aspect of art and photography for as long as it's been around. Now, Max, since you've captured our interest and clearly want to join the conversation, can you please tell us the name of the process that gave birth to the first self-portraits? All right, we got another choice here. Uh, I, I did know. know, but I kind of forgot. You either know this or not, Max. Is there anybody here who knows their stuff? Louis Daguerre was a French painter who created daguerreotypes. A process that gave portraits a sharp reflective style like a mirror. Now you're totally stuck in the retro zone. Sad face. Very good, Victoria. The Daguerrean uh, process brought out fine detail in people's faces, making them extremely popular from the 1800s onward. The first American daguerreotype self-portrait was done by Robert Cornelius. You can find out all about him in your textbook or even online. And guys, don't forget the deadline to submit a photo in the Everyday Heroes contest. I'll fly out with the winner to San Francisco, where you'll be feted by the art world. It's great exposure, and it can kickstart a career in photography. So Stella and Alyssa, get it together. Taylor, don't hide. I'm still waiting for your entry, too. And yes, Max, I see you pretending not to see me. Thank you, Mr. Jefferson. <sighs> again, deja vu all over again. All right. Yes. Victoria. Victoria doesn't waste a second kissing ass. Even if you're submitting your photo for the competition, everybody in class is turning in a photo, so you see the dilemma? I know, Mr. Jefferson. I just worked so hard in the shot, and I'm sure you know what it's like to be consumed by your work. I just really think Everyday Heroes is an... Love the eagle's claw. It's a good hand. Max is really talented. Polarized. Go away. Chloe and Price forever. There we go. Rachel and Amber forever. Yep. And then we still have Broken Skateboard. More photos for episode one. Ball of photos. Capturing time. A very special 18th birthday. You're an adult now, but you're still our little girl. Check your account. Don't blow it all at once. Aw, oh, thanks, Dad. Uh, Kate. Always you okay? You wanted to get tea later? Absolutely, I'll be after four. Talk to you later. Mom, happy birthday, Maxi! Or Maxine! You can't believe it's your 18 whole years since you were brought to us. Hugs and kisses. Ah, Mom, thanks, Mom. Warren! Make sure to check out your neck romantic on my flash drive. Mua. Hey, Mad Max, let's just bust you up. Right, wait, I have to study for a physics test. Ah. So, so if you bust anything, we'll have to bust. Have to bust. But that was blah. Words. Also, have to measure it with it velocity. Don't ignore this message. Ah. Born. Is an Geek. important cultural event, and I want to represent Blackwell Academy. You have just by participating, by putting yourself out there in the world. Now, no matter who wins, this is just a bump. Hi, Kate. Oh. I don't want anybody Hi, to feel excluded from this process, but I also want everybody to know that this photographic world is. Not you seem quiet today. Just thinking too much. Grab a cup of tea. I hear that. Want to go grab a cup of tea and bitch about life? Thanks, but not today. I have to go over homework. No worries. Let's hang later. Sure. Uh, and 
Anyways, let's go over this one more time. Now I wish I wouldn't have read this. Purge. Definitely purge it. Uh, let's move on, get out of here. Man, he even has the best plasma HTTV for a class monitor. Can't wait to watch some more documentaries on this bad boy. Here's the poster for the contest. Mr. Jefferson really expects me to enter. Why? I don't know if I'm ready for my 15 minutes of infamy. Well, like maybe Mr. Jefferson sees something in us. Uh, talk to him a little later. So cool that we can check these out anytime. The Decisive Moment by Henri Cartier-Bresson? That's rare. Annie Leibovitz, mad respect. The amazing Eugene Smith? Good to see Avedon among the masters. Golly, of course. Lots of people I haven't heard of yet. I guess that's why I'm here. Yeah, explore the masters. Oh. Ah, uh. uh, Victoria. Even your stuff over here. Even her school books are gift wrapped. I can't believe she made fun of me in class. What is she, 15 years old? And people laughed. Yeah, don't, you have to just let that go. Of course, Victoria has to have the bestest, newest, most expensive everything. Yeah, she, yep, she's still distracted, so let's actually take a look. I should have known. She'll have better equipment than Blackwell. Well, it's all, it's not really about the equipment, it's about how you use your own equipment and make it, oh, your style, make it unique. Damn, they have carbon fiber tripods here. The ball head even has a pan lock. God, I'm such a photo nerd. Oh. That was amazing when Mr. Jefferson took a class picture the first week. Even though I didn't want to be in the picture at all, it was fairly fucking cool to watch him at work framing us. Nice, actually looks pretty good. Just saying. I love seeing Mr. Jefferson's awesome photos on these magazine covers. Top line, is grunge dead? question that printer is amazing I'd love to see how it reproduces my pictures yeah, I could pump out a whole chance. gallery show with that thing oh, yeah. when I don't suck hmm. someday someday don't give up Max looks like somebody was already working on this cool not bad Some photos. I see you, Max Caulfield. Don't even think about leaving here until we talk about your entry. Ah, uh, Professor. Come on. I'd never let one of photography's future stars avoid handing in her picture. Uh, da, do I have to? Didn't have any time, uh, guys. Cause and effect here, future stuff. Do I have to right now? It's not ready. Do I have to? I just don't think it's that big a deal. Max, you're a better photographer than a liar. Now, I, I know it's a drag to hear some old dude lecture you, but life won't wait for you to play catch up. You're young, the world is yours, blah, 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 right? But you do have a gift. You have the fever to take images, to frame the world only the way you envision it. Now, all you need is the courage to share your gift with others. And that's what separates the artist from the amateur.
That is true. Like Victoria, and she wanted to get like a what, a fifty-three hundred dollar camera. You didn't tell me how cute I looked yet. I was about to. Like you you Welcome to the real world. Just cute. Hot. Then I might send you a special picture. Of because Max wants everybody to see how hip she is. I'm not paying her. She plays it so sharp. <laughs> I need a serious time out in the bathroom. Splash water on my face and make sure I don't look like a total loser. I hate that class. It's so fucking boring. Square Enix. She's so fucking shy. She takes selfies with a giant camera. Don't. Don't nod in entertainment. Uh, life is strange. Episode one. Chrysalis. Uh, we got Evan. Hey, Evan. Evan doesn't say much to me, but his photos are very cool. Hmm. Got Alyssa. Alyssa is always texting, but she doesn't hang out with a lot of people. I hate having everybody see inside my locker. I love that picture of mom and dad. Hello, Jack. Kiss, kiss. Andy, you look totally fabulous as usual. Yeah. Uh, Justin? What's up? That's Dana talking to. I think his name is Justin. Dana is on my floor, too. She's such an archetypal, gorgeous cheerleader. They must make them in a factory. I shouldn't be so catty. Dana is nice to me. I guess Stella? Stella is always deep in her notes. She didn't come to Blackwell to mess around. No. Uh, Brooke? Hey, Brooke. I've seen Brooke hanging out with Warren. She seems like his type. Hmm. Yeah, Daniel, Logan, and who's the other guy? Oh, Daniel and Logan. Poor Daniel. He's so nice. I wish I could beat the shit out of Logan. I hate bully jockstraps like Logan. And he's a Vortex Club member. Err. Uh. Oh, cool. That looks a nice poster. I wish October would last forever. Oh, uh, yeah. Missing person? Who's missing? It looks like she's been gone for months. Missing Arcadia Bay, okay, Rachel Amber. Date missing April 22nd, 2013, age 19. 5 5, 110, okay. T2. A dragon. Okay. Sail Don't need a PC. Missed the poetry jam tryouts, and I did not steal that backpack. Six hundred bucks, fully loaded. Oh. That's so messed up. I should contact them to find out what I can do. As if I am. Help the local climate. Past decade, climate change has altered the Oregon coastline, including fish and fauna. Raise your voice against pollution. More missing posters. Okay, we're the same person. I wonder yep. what actually happened to her. Interesting mystery. Good thing I left my AK at home. Gun free zone, yes. <laughs> Hayden. There's Hayden, another Vortex Club bro. But he's actually not an ass. Hmm. 
One missing posters, probably the same, the same girl? Yeah, Rachel. Uh, okay, song is starting to get to me. Empty, good. Nobody can see my meltdown, except for me. Oh, Max, don't. Please don't beat yourself up. Rafini, Rachel, Aunt. Now, who would bother to write that crap? I wonder. The last time I got a flu shot, I got the flu. Fuck you. Yeah, no. Get like a lower. Yeah, I'd definitely get the flu, or at least a lower, lesser case of it develop immunity. Anyway. What who did that? Not too bad. Mm. Cold water on their face, Max. Just relax. Stop torturing yourself. You have a gift. Yes, you have a gift. Fuck it. No. Oh, Max. When a door closes, a window opens. Or something like that. Okay, girl, you don't get a photo op like this every day. Uh, should I be very careful? Whoa, where did that butterfly come from? It doesn't look like any kind I've ever seen before. The blue wings are practically glowing. I, I can almost feel the air moving around me. The butterfly feels almost like a spirit. Maybe. What's the boy doing? It's cool, Nathan. <laughs> Don't stress. You you're okay, bro. Just count to three. Don't be scared. You own this school. If I wanted, I could blow it up. <laughs> You're the boss. So what do you want? I hope you check the perimeter, as my step-ass would say. Now, let's talk business. I got nothing for you. Wrong. You got hella cash. That's my family, not me. Oh, boo-hoo, poor little rich kid. I know you've been pumping drugs and shit to kids around here. I bet your respectable family would help me out if I went to them. Man, I can see the headlines now. Leave them out of this bitch. I can tell everybody Nathan Prescott is a punk ass who begs like a little girl and talks to himself. You don't know who the fuck I am or who you're messing around oh. with. Where did you get that? What are you doing? Come on, put that thing down. Don't ever tell me what to do. I'm so sick of people trying to control me. You are going to get in hella more trouble for this than drugs. Nobody would ever even miss your punk ass, would they? Get that gun away from me, psycho! No! Oh. Oh. Whoa. What the fuck? How? How can that be? What? I was in the bathroom. What? He shot that poor girl. I held up my hand. And then I was back here. Yeah, she likely was. These pieces of time oh, from frame are I already heard this lecture. From light to shadow. From color. Hey, now Kate is being hassled again. And if Victoria's phone rings, this is real. Now, oh, shit. Can you give me an example of a Damn, photographer? I cannot believe who this. Captured the human condition in black and white. Okay, uh, if I'm crazy, anybody? I might as well go all the way. Bueller. Diana. Can I actually reverse time? There you go, Victoria. Why Arvis? Because of her images of hopeless faces. You feel like totally haunted by... I did now, it. Can you I actually an did it. A photographer who perfectly I'm captured a human the human time machine. And white. Anybody? Max, don't freak out. Not yet. There you go, Victoria. Why Arvis? 
Because of her Keep images of her. My old broken camera is new again. When I took my selfie, Jefferson asked me a question. She saw humanity as torture, if he does right? again, I'll know this is for real. Shh, 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 shh. Keep that to yourself. Seriously, though, I could frame any one of you in a dark corner and yeah, capture you in a moment of desperation. Shh, shh, shh. I believe Max has taken what you kids call a selfie. A dumb word for a wonderful photographic tradition. And Max has a gift. I know I'm not dreaming this. You all know, yes, it's real. We know now that Max does have a gift. So I can go back in time. Yeah. Selfie expression. What if that girl so, isn't dead yet? I couldn't resist. The point can I save her? Portraiture has always been a vital aspect of art and photography. For I need to go to the bathroom quickly and check it out. Now, Max, since you've captured our interest and clearly want to join the conversation, can you please? Uh, I feel sick. I'm sorry. I feel sick. May I be excused? Nice try, Max. But you're not going to get away that easy. We can talk more after class. Is there anybody oh, here shit. who knows their stuff? Jefferson wants to keep me you after class. And I need time to save that girl. A process that gave portraits a sharp reflective style like a mirror. Now you're totally stuck in the retro zone. Sad face. Very good, Victoria. What if I rewind the again and give him the right answer? Fine detail in people's faces, making them extremely popular from the 1800s onward. The first American to Gary Let's rewind it. Now, Max, since you've captured our interest and clearly want to join the conversation, can you please tell us the name of the process that gave birth to the first self portraits the daguerrean process invented by a french painter named louis daguerre around 1830 somebody has been reading as well as posing nice work max <sighs> the daguerrean process made portraiture hugely popular mainly because it gave the subjects clear defined features you can learn more when you actually finish reading the assigned chapters Max is so far way ahead of everyone. And guys, don't forget the deadline to submit a photo in the Everyday Heroes contest. I'll fly out with the winner to San Francisco where you'll be feted by the art world. It's great exposure and it can kickstart a career in photography. So Stella and Alyssa, get it together. Taylor, don't hide. I'm still waiting for your entry too. And yes, Max, I see you pretending not to see me. Max, you are not crazy. You are not dreaming. It's time to be an Everyday Hero. Yes, Mac, it's time. Yes, Victoria, you still have to do your homework this week. Even if Hero you're submitting time. your photo for the competition, everybody in I see you, Max Caulfield. Don't even think about leaving here until we talk about your entry. Uh, I need to save someone, Professor. I'd never let one of photography's future stars avoid handing in her. Not sure if I have one. Uh, yeah, I'm not sure I have one. Given your selfie output, I'm sure you must have about a thousand pics by now. It'll take a long time to find a good one. Max, don't wait too long. John Lennon once said that life is what happens while you're busy making other plans. Go on now. Don't let me stop you. Press uh, left control. Okay. Okay. There we go. have to do your homework this week. Even if you're submitting your photo for the competition, everybody in class is turning in a photo, so you see the dilemma? I know, Mr. Jefferson. I just work. I see you, Max Caulfield. Don't even think about leaving here until we talk. Let one of photography's future stars avoid handing in her picture. Oh, is it John Lennon? I'm on top of it. I think John Lennon once said that Life is what happens while you're busy making other plans. Max, you're on fire today. All the right answers, good. Make sure you finish working on it by today. I have faith in you. Thank you. Victoria hasn't moved from that spot. Means we're on the right track. Okay, I gotta save that girl. I hope I have enough time to get to the bathroom. Please, please. 
I can't tell anybody. They'll think I'm crazy. Mm. Sounds like uh, Back to the Future. Yo, Daniel! You remember that it's payday? Don't even tease me. You know I don't I know tease. you didn't forget. I hate that science class with those nerds. What's that got to do with anything? <laughs> because if you send me a picture... Nobody here can help you. Move! You suck. Dragging dirty tracks everywhere. No, Max. They can't save that girl in the bathroom. Get in here. Okay, Max. Retrace every step. I washed my face. I shredded my photo. Then the butterfly Butter flew in. And I took a photo. Leave them out of this bitch! I can tell everybody Nathan Prescott is a punk ass who begs like a little girl and talks to himself! You don't know who the fuck I am or who you're messing around with! Where did you get that? What are you doing? Don't Come on, put that thing down! Tell me what to do! Wow, sir, it's so happening sick. again. But people trying to control me! You I need a hammer to break it open! More trouble for this than drugs! Nobody would ever even miss your punk ass, would they? Get that gun away from me, psycho! <laughs> Holy shit, I can't let this happen. If I can reverse time again, I can help her. Don't ever tell me what to do. Don't ever tell me what to do. I'm so... Oh, she, oh, oh Don't too much. ever tell me what to do. I'm so sick of people trying to control me. You are going to get in hella more trouble for this than drugs. Nobody would ever even miss your punk ass, would they? Get that gun Why? away from me, psycho! Throw me! You are going to get in hella more trouble for this than drugs. Nobody would ever even miss your punk ass, would they? No way! Don't ever touch me again, freak! Another shitty day. That did not happen. This cannot be real. I just no. saw a girl get shot and then saved her. What the fuck is going on? Oh, uh, what is Do going not on? Freak out. Alright, when you look anything in here. Right, just, just go with the flow of the crowd. Hey, do you hear that fire alarm? That means you should be outside. I had to use the bathroom. Girls always use that excuse. Excuse for what? For whatever you're up to. Your face is covered in guilt. The alarm tripped me out. Then trip on out of here, Missy. Or are you hiding something? Huh? Thank you, Mr. Madsen. The situation is under control. There's no emergency here. Leave Miss Caulfield alone and please turn off that alarm since that's your job. Yeah. Go turn off the alarm. Uh, Principal Wells. Principal Wells always looks so distracted. I can never figure out what he's thinking. Does he hate me? Should we talk to him? Should we not talk to him? Uh... Hi? You look a little stressed out. Are you okay? I'm... I'm just a little worried about my future. Well, you're sweating pinballs. Is that all you're thinking about? You could always be up front with me, Max. Or have you done something wrong? Is that it? Well, Max, talk to me. Uh oh Nathan, hide the truth. Uh, sure. What happened? What? what, what? Uh, report him. I just saw Nathan Prescott waving a gun around in the girls' room. Nathan Prescott. You sure? Yes. He was in the bathroom talking to himself with a gun. I saw everything. He was babbling like crazy. Okay, slow down. Slow down. So now you saw this without him seeing you. I was hiding behind a stall. 
I have the right to be there. It's the girls' room. I know, I know. I just want to be completely clear what happened. Mr. Prescott happens to be from the town's most distinguished family and one of Blackwell's most honored students. So it's hard for me to see him brandishing a weapon in the girls' bathroom. So what happened next? Then... then he left. I ran out here wondering what to do. Are you gonna bust him? This is a serious charge. I'll look into the matter personally. Thank you for bringing it to my attention. That's it? After what I told we'll you? We'll continue this discussion later in my office. Please go outside with the rest of your class now, Miss Caulfield. Of course this academic drone won't do anything since the Prescott family owns Blackwell now. Should I rewind and change my story? Yeah, let's rewind it. You won't be able to undo choices after leaving the area. Okay, so we can just, you know, maybe speak. Oh, oh, a little too much. You look a little stressed out. Uh, let's hide the truth for now. I just got sick in class. Um, female trouble. Except you're wandering around like a zombie. And do you think that's the first time a student has used that line on me? It's the truth. I felt dizzy in Mr. Jefferson's just class. Just tell me what you're hiding. You can trust me. There's nothing to hide. I got sick. It happens, you know. There's that team toot again. You know, I've, I've heard enough. Don't think I don't know what goes on around here. You've only been here for three weeks, and you're already causing conflict. I don't think your parents will approve when they find out. Now get outside with the class. Please. No, he does not buy that at all. I may have just flushed my scholarship down the toilet. Yes, I could rewind and actually tell him the truth. Could we? Do we want to go back and do it? You look a little stressed out. Uh, report him. Just saw Nathan press. You know, I heard all that. There's actually a lot of consequences, yes. Don't wander around here. Get on outside. Yes, Principal Wells. Well, Academy. Seeing a little bit better days. I cannot wait till fall comes. Would Nathan Prescott please come to the front office? Thank you. Or missing pose. Oh. Was that was that Rachel? Rachel Amber. Mm. She looks so hopeful and pretty. I wonder what happened to her. I wonder too. More and more. Alright well, guys, it's been at least almost an hour and life is strange. Life, yeah, I, like I don't want to stop playing. It's like I'm so into Max and everybody and what's going to eventually happen to Nathan. And going back in time. We saved that girl, but tell, not tell. We told, but we reminded time and Ah, so many choices. Alright. See you guys next episode of Life is Strange.